Defining emerging is like nailing jello to a wall. And I think that to the extent that that's true, it's, it's true of Christianity as a whole. I mean, if you asked uh, an Eastern Orthodox Christian what it means to be a Christian or a Roman Catholic or a Protestant, you're likely to get very different answers to the question, you know, what, Christ, what, what is Christianity? The church is primarily something that happens. Before it's an institution, it's an event. It's a verb before it's a noun, if you want to put it that way. It's what happens when human beings encounter the living Christ. One of the things I sense in this younger generation of Christians that to me is very inspiring, but it's also very troubling, it's that they're not going to keep the show going. If they think that our churches have missed the point, they're not just going to go along and support the program. Church has ended up meaning for a lot of people something that you go to on a Sunday morning or it's been very localized, you know, it's just uh, the few people that you might meet with there and I, I think healthily a lot of questions have been asked about that. The reason I think that the emerging church happened when it did is because it developed out of a crisis the evangelical strain of Christianity which I think was pushing what I would call a hyper-imminent view of God. In other words, if we worship harder and pray harder, we will get closer and closer to God. And when it didn't happen, there's this crisis of imminence that, you know, you promised me I was going to be able to get that close to God, I was going to touch God. It's more of a, uh, a sense or an underlying ethos or um, way of thinking or thought pattern and approach. It's the freedom to ask why and ask questions, um, understanding that that's how we engage God in a healthy way is trying to understand God. I feel like we've never really been able to pin it down, but I think that's what's really great about the Emergent Church is that it's not something you pin it down. You can't say it's Lutheran, it's CRC, it's Catholicism. You can't give it a label. I mean, I've, I'm of the opinion, if you ask someone what the emerging church is, their answer will tell you more about them than the emerging church. Um, there are so many different taxonomies that people use. It's a way to kind of revolutionize the church and it's a way to kind of maybe change, change um, people who've turned away from the church, kind of change their, their views on it and, and kind of reappropriate it in, into something that is more, um, more accessible. They're really trying to make church more spontaneous, trying to make it more about people than necessarily um, committees. Participants in Emerging are deeply suspicious of tidy theological boxes. I think another sort of salient feature, defining characteristic would be um, a privileging of right living over right believing or orthopraxy over orthodoxy. I think the emerging church is the shared context where all churches around the world are facing up to the rapid change in our context and culture. Yeah? So I find uh, Anglicans, Baptists, Catholics, low church people, reform people, you know, we're all facing very similar contexts, aren't we? The world is changing. <clears throat>
in the context of training people, forming people to actually be people who love God in their daily lives, to be people who actually are learning to love their neighbors. This is a big one because you can't just stop at loving your neighbors. Also training people to love uh, their enemies and our enemies. What would church look like with community as the content if we created an environment of participation and if it was a site for self-publishing. Now, I mean, as soon as you say that, you realize, well, what we've got as church at the moment is almost opposite to that. There is um, a post-church stream in the emerging church where people say church is the biggest problem, so the best thing we can do is just get, our, out, get away from it. Let's, let's not even use the word church. We're, anything that church did, we're just not going to do. Um, and we don't even want to call ourselves Christian and we're certainly not going to get together and do, you know, do any things that churches might do like worship services or that kind of stuff. The second you give something a label, there are people who don't feel like they can belong. Um, and I think that's what's really great about the emerging church is that its goal is to accept everyone and give them a new worship experience that they can't find anywhere else. It puts a lot more power in the, in the individual's hands. You know, it, allows the individual to access it in their own way. We um, are finding the freedom to be creative and to, to um, understand God in contextual ways, allow, giving God the freedom to work where we are and where we live and how we are today.